All right, now we turn to a true testament to hard work and determination. The video you're seeing is from two years ago when local athlete Matt Jackson did an indoor Ironman to prepare for the World Championships in Kona, Hawaii. Now, two years later, he's ready to head back to Kona and you can help him do it. This Saturday night, you can join a Trivia Tonight fundraiser to get Matt back to Kona. But before that can happen, he joins us here in studio, fresh off of competing in the Boston Marathon this weekend. Matt, thank you so much for stopping by today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Why don't we start with the easy question. For people that don't know, remind us what is all in an Ironman. Sure. An Ironman consists of a 2.4 mile swim, a 112 mile bike, and then it finishes with a marathon or 26.2 mile run. So easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, when you did Kona two years ago, you finished, was it 30th in 30th your age group? 30th in my age group, yep. All right, what are your goals this time around? Well, that first time, I was kind of just happy to be there. Um, really just wanted to take in the experience and kind of see how it went. And this time, I'd like to try to land top five and be on the podium for my age group. I love it. Matt has a really incredible blog, and I've put it online onto your website where you really document not only the preparations that you go to and what you're kind of thinking and feeling during your races, mm -hmm. that you run your marathons, Ironmans, triathlons, but you also really dive into your mindset throughout all of it and your disappointments and sometimes how you get past all of those. So as your body gets in peak shape, how do you also get your mind mentally strong for these? I think a lot of that probably comes from the training itself. So getting up at 4 a.m. to do a workout before work and then going to work all day and then doing that second workout after work. Um, sometimes just the day-to-day -day is kind of the, the mental training that I need. So when you're out on the course and, you know, I've read some of your blogs where you're 15 miles into a marathon and your legs start to seize up or hurt, how do you get through that? What do you tell yourself? I think about everyone back home that's either tracking me on the app or watching, supporting me and uh, just kind of use that as motivation to keep going. So like my wife at the finish line at Boston this last weekend was a, a huge motivator for me to, to, to not walk it in. <laughs> I mean, no one would be mad if you walked <laughs> it in. I feel like it's still an incredible accomplishment. What is the difference in your mindset for Kona this time around as opposed to in 2022? So kind of like I said earlier, I think the first time I was just happy to be there, um, but this time I definitely want to compete. Um, and I think having won Ironman Wisconsin just this past year kind of gives me that little extra confidence boost that that's something that I can do. Is that the one where you placed first? <laughs> <laughs> you're being very humble. You're telling me off screen, what are some of the races that you're doing between now and October when you do Kona? Uh, I have a couple half Ironman races. There's one in Chattanooga. Uh, there's one closer in Des Moines and then another one in Louisville. And then I'll go back to Ironman Wisconsin again before Kona. I love it. So Boston Marathon was Monday? Sunday. Monday. Monday. Okay. But today's your rest day. When do you get back into training? Um, I went for a swim yesterday, and I'll have another swim tomorrow and a couple more bike rides, and then I probably won't run for at least a couple more days after that. Are most of your swims outdoors? Uh, two Rivers YMCA, where I did the indoor Ironman two years ago. Oh, I love it. I'm sure they're used to seeing your face <laughs> <Yeah>. around there. <laughs> Okay, before I let you go, you have your trivia night fundraiser coming up on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I have to know, are you as good at trivia as you are at doing Ironmans? Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> What's your area of expertise? What's a category you could dominate in? It'd probably have to be sports or triathlon, maybe beer. Ooh, yes. I think there's going to be a um, section on beer facts, so that's a little hint for anyone that might show up. I love it. Well, Matt, thank you so much for stopping by today. Congratulations on Boston and best of luck. Thank you Kona. so much for having me. For you guys at home, you can support Matt's journey through a trivia fundraiser happening this weekend in Coal Valley. For a link on signing up, or if you just want to donate to his cause, you can find all of that information at wqad.com underneath the As Seen on TV tab.